can you find out the winning move that magnus played in this position against hari krishna why to play and win he played rook c8 if queen takes queen then white wins a rook so it's an in between move eswishan juk now after rook c8 black has to defend the rook with queen d6 or queen f6 and the game goes on into a winning end game let's see how magnus got there he started with c4 the english hari krishna played e5 g3 which, which is very common white wants to fianche to the bishop on the king side pawn c6 d4 bishop check bishop d2 takes takes d6 knight c3 knight f6 e4 so magnus keeps good control of the center now knight e2 b5 is it a free pawn takes takes if you take the pawn what will happen black will take the center pawn we don't want to take a wing pawn for, for a center pawn right so magnus plays a3 stopping b4 pawn a5 planning to play b4 at all costs bishop g2 now magnus is threatening to take the pawn so hari krishna again puts pressure on e4 so magnus just castles hari krishna plays b4 taking the knight takes takes and knight d5 takes takes queen b6 takes bishop takes back and takes and takes so magnus has an isolated pawn in the center but the isolated pawn is also blocking opponent's bishop and it, it's a pass pawn right so this can be an advantage as well pawn g4 this is a brilliant move can you find out why this move was played what is the purpose of this move the world champion plays g4 to activate the knight either this way or to e4 if you go one move back the knight has no good squares so magnus looks at the board and sees g4 let's push the pawn and activate the knight a very nice idea knight d7 knight g3 pawn g6 stopping knight f5 so knight i mean sorry rook c1 first he develops a rook rook d8 and knight e4 getting the knight into the game this pawn can still be a good advantage if it gets to push forward and the rook can get in and the queen can get in it should look good knight f6 black frantically exchanges of the knights takes takes and rook c5 magnus keeps the pawn defended well queen b6 attacking the rook queen e3 threatening rook c8 so queen a7 was played now what happens if rook c8 is played by magnus there is queen a1 check and when you block i'll just exchange i'll just take your rook actually so rook c8 would be a losing move because then black would give this check actually you can still defend if you play bishop f1 you lost if you play rook c1 you're fine or queen c1 these moves are fine so rook c8 does not really work now so magnus plays queen c1 preparing rook c8 bishop b7 pawn h4 so magnus now create some weaknesses on the king side for black queen b6 pawn h5 if that pawn gets to h6 there can be a permanent problem for black it will be like a thorn in our thro throat if the pawn gets to h6 black king won't be able to move so black plays h6 if magnus takes the pawn you lose the rook so he can't take now so he plays queen e3 and now takes on h5 this is where magnus played rook to c8 black defends hari krishna defends the rook but then takes takes and magnus gets back on h6 but bishop takes on d5 and queen comes back to d2 magnus is winning a piece so here if bishop does not take he could also have played something like h takes g4 but then bishop e4 and it's a great position for white black's bishop is cut off so bishop h7 is a threat king moves bishop g6 king moves queen h7 king f8 and queen f7 meet so that's a big threat so that is why hari krishna decided to take on d5 giving up the piece after queen d2 no way to defend the bishop the bishop is pinned so he plays pawn takes g4 and magnus goes for the extra bishop end game which he believes is winning and he's right and he's going to convert in with no difficulty king g7 magnus activates the king 
king g3 king f6 king h4 nice move getting the king in pawn e4 bishop back king e5 so when the king comes in the bishop is not hit it just stays away from the, the king king g3 back stopping f4 if f4 then king takes g4 king b4 and king f4 so black wants to exchange of this pawn as fast as possible exchange of as many pawns as possible and make a draw takes pawn e3 takes takes and take and here if you take i would have taken it without much thought if i was not careful if you take it's a draw if you take that pawn then b3 and black is going to pick up this pawn the white bishop is useless practically right so for example if bishop comes here just king d2 and the bishop takes king c1 and the pawn is gone so uh, it is very important to not take on g4 and magnus is not going to make such an elementary mistake he plays b3 a very nice move and here hari krishna resigned because the bishop is just going to defend the pawn and this pawn is anyway going to fall